Welcome to Engineer Training. Here you'll be taken through the operation of an Electromotive Division SD40 diesel electric locomotive. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical locomotive controls and refueling of the locomotive. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the engineer's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. The main circuit breaker is used to allow power to the locomotive. Use the indicated control to set it to the closed position. The engine will first need to be primed to start the locomotive. Use the indicated switch and hold it in the prime position for 10 seconds. Now that the engine has been primed, it's time to start it up. Using the same switch as before, Move it into the start position and hold it there for 5 seconds to start the engine. With the engine now running, set the isolation switch to the run position. Nice work! The locomotive is now ready for operation. This locomotive has three brake systems. The automatic brake controls the brakes on the locomotive and all the cars in the consist. The independent brake is used to control only the locomotive's brakes and is primarily used when running light. The dynamic brake is used to help control the train's speed when operating on mainline and branchline grades. As we are running light loco, we will use the independent brake to control our speed. Now move the automatic brake lever into the release position. The cutoff valve will need to be set to the required position. Do this now by moving the cutoff valve and setting it to freight. The MU2A valve must also be set up to the required position. Move the indicated switch and set it to lead or dead. Activate the auxiliary systems as indicated. The reverser is used to determine the direction of travel. The selector lever allows you to move between power and dynamic braking modes. The B setting allows the throttle handle to control the dynamic brake and the 1 setting allows it to apply power. Set the selector lever to 1 now. For this introduction, we will be moving this locomotive over to the fuel racks to refuel. This yard features manual switches which will need to be set on foot before departing. Climb down now and make sure the switches are set to the correct positions. This locomotive is now ready for service. Use the throttle and apply a small amount of power to get moving.
Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin speeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the handle into the braking range. The refueling point is behind us. Make sure that the switches are set to the correct position and then reverse the locomotive to the fuel racks. With the locomotive now positioned next to the fuel rack, you will need to prepare the locomotive for refueling. To begin, open the fuel cap to allow access to the locomotive's fuel tank. Now take hold of the fuel hose and then insert it into the fuel tank. With the hose now inserted into the tank, you can begin refueling. Use the indicated control to allow fuel to flow into the tank.
Nice work. The locomotive is now fully fueled and ready for service. Return the hose back to the fuel rack and reattach the fuel cap to finish the job. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating and refueling this locomotive.